Welcome to the Chief Health Class of 2024 online course requests and general information PowerPoint video. To make your course requests online for next year in ninth grade, you'll need access to the source and completion of the options worksheet, which is available to download via the Chief Health website. In addition, you may want to watch the Seattle School District's General Guide to Selecting Courses Online video first. It will cover a lot of technical information about what's involved to make your course requests online. However, it's not specific to Chief Self International High School. So what we'll cover in this video PowerPoint presentation is more specific to Chief Self. Let's take a look at that options worksheet. All ninth grade students We'll take one year of language arts. 9A is first semester. 9B would be second semester. One year of social studies, which in ninth grade is world history. So world history one and two would be first and second semester. Please note though that students that are planning to continue in the dual language Spanish immersion program will instead select the world history one and two immersion version of the social studies course. One year of math. If a student is currently taking eighth grade math, they will select algebra 1a and 1b in ninth grade. And if the student is currently taking algebra 1 in eighth grade right now, then that student would select geometry a and b as a ninth grader and so on. One year of science. So that's physics A for one semester, chemistry A for another semester, one year of health and PE. So that means that the first semester or one of the semesters will be a health class. And then one of the other semesters would be a personal fitness class. And then lastly, either one full year course option or two semester long options. Now, as far as the one year long options go, world language is an option. We offer Spanish, Japanese, and Chinese. And performing music courses are a full year option as well. The Spanish immersion program, dual language program, students that are in that program would select the AP Spanish AB. That's required for students in the Spanish immersion program. Uh, for the two semester long options, as you can see, there are a lot of classes here to choose from. You can find descriptions about the various courses online at the Chief Health website. And then lastly, uh, if a student is planning to take a full year of a world language class and a full year of a world of a performing music course, then that student would either uh, postpone PE and health for 10th grade, or they may be able to take PE health as a zero period uh, next year in ninth grade. Now we won't be selecting zero period courses uh, on this online course re registration page, but that is an option that students will be able to opt into at the very beginning of the school year. And uh, a zero period, if you didn't know, is, um, is a course that's offered outside of the regular school schedule um, before first period. So that would be showing up a little earlier in the morning to take an extra class before the regular school day starts. Now that we're ready to make our course selections online, you'll log into the source and on the left hand side, you'll look for a link that says class registration. You'll click on it and you'll get a page that looks something like this. Now, if you don't have that link on the left hand side that says class registration, it's likely an enrollment issue. So we would encourage you to contact the enrollment center to inquire about that. A couple things to look at here. Um, we've got different credit types, for example, language arts up on top, and then there's a little description below it. And so it's important to read these little descriptions below each credit type as that will help guide you through this process. And then this little pencil box on the right hand side is what we're going to click when it comes time to selecting our courses. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. Next, if we were to scroll down to the bottom of the screen, you'll see that we are required to select up to six credit hours. Right now in this example, there are zero. So we need to get up to six before we can click submit 
and uh, be done with our online course requests. Later in this presentation, we'll cover uh, a little bit more information about credits, but simply put, uh, each course uh, per semester is worth 0.5 of a credit. And uh, so if we have six classes per semester and each course is worth half of a credit, then that means that we can earn up to six credits for the entire school year. All right, now let's select some courses. So let's go ahead and we're gonna scroll back up to the top again. And we are going to click on that little pencil box just to the right of language arts. And then we'll see this pop-up window up here. Um, go ahead and click anywhere in here and we'll highlight that section for 9A. And then we also need to do 9B for second semester. Once both of those are highlighted, you'll go down here and you'll click OK to select those courses. Okay, so now that we have language arts selected, we are going to continue to work our way down here. Uh, for social studies, um, you'll click the little pencil box next to it and make sure again that you're reading the information below because if you're planning to do the dual language Spanish immersion program, then you wanna make sure that you click on the world history for immersion, which is the one below that. And again, the pop-up window will appear. You'll click anywhere in there to highlight it. Again, make sure you do both first and second semester and then click OK. Just a quick reminder, when you're selecting your math course, if you are currently taking eighth grade math, then you are going to click on Algebra 1A and Algebra 1B. If you are currently taking Algebra as an eighth grader, then you are going to click on Geometry A and Geometry B. If you are currently taking Geometry as an eighth grader, then you will click on Algebra 2A and Algebra 2B. All right, next up is science, which is pretty straightforward because every single student will take physics for one semester and then chemistry for another semester. And most of our students will also take one semester of PE and one semester of health. The only exception to that would be if a student was planning to take a full year of a world language class in addition to a full year of music. In that situation, the student would not select PE Health and instead postpone those classes for 10th grade. All right, lastly, we'll select our one year or semester options courses. For world language, we offer Chinese, Japanese, or Spanish. Generally speaking, two years of a world language in middle school is equivalent to about one year in high school. So if a student took two years of Spanish in middle school, then they would likely sign up for Spanish 2, which is the second year of Spanish in high school. If a student took one year of a world language in middle school, they would likely sign up for Spanish 1 in high school. As you can see on these course request options here for world language, there are the three different languages that are offered. And uh, in this example here, it says Chinese 1A. So that would be the first year of Chinese, first semester. And then Chinese 1B would be second semester of the same level. And uh, make sure to uh, check on the very bottom of the pop-up page because there are multiple pages. So if you don't find the level and language that you're looking for, go ahead and click onto the next page of that pop-up page and you should find it. Students that are planning to participate in the dual language Spanish immersion program will need to select AP Spanish 5A and AP Spanish 5B first and second semester, which is located in the ninth grade world language Spanish immersion pop-up window. And then of course, click OK. You are almost done. So go ahead and scroll down to the bottom once you get six credits entered. And it should actually say requesting six credit hours here. Uh, this example says zero. But once you get to six credit hours listed there, then a little button on the right here that says submit should pop up. And you're going to click on that button. And once you do, um, you'll see a list of your courses 
uh, that you have requested. And you can either copy and paste and send that to yourself via email or take a little screenshot just so you remember what you had requested. Um, but I want to just really emphasize that it's important to click submit because if you don't, all of your course requests won't be saved. So that's the only way to save it. Please be sure to stay connected with us. School counselors have a text message remind group and we want all of the incoming freshmen to sign up for that. Uh, the way you do so if you haven't used remind text messages before is uh, you send a text message students to this phone number right here. Looks a little funny because it's only five digits, but it does work. And then in that text message body, you're going to type the at sign CSIHS 2024, hit send, and then we'll get you signed up for that. You can also check our Twitter page. Don't need to have a Twitter account. Check that. And then, of course, stay in touch via the Chief Health website as well. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to any of the three school counselors. Uh, we have our caseloads are uh, split up by um, last names. And so just go ahead and find the assigned counselor for your student and you can email them directly. Or if you have any specific IB program questions, you can email Allison Hayes, our IB coordinator, at the following email address here below.